There you go. There it is. So just click that and stretch it. Did you hear a crack? I oh did. yeah. There we go. <laughs> did she <laughs> like that one? No, she tried. So We have Mia here today. How old is Mia? She's about 13. And and how old was she approximately when you got her? 11. 11, yeah. okay. And this is Michael and Hannah here. But what were your thoughts with Mia getting checked today? I've noticed her limping, most notably on her front left shoulder. Mm -hmm. um, also on her back, I, I can't tell which one, but mm -hmm. it, it's, it's more pronounced on her front left right now. When we first got her, she was really obese mm -hmm. and um, it shows like to this day she can't really jump that high but um, I'm thinking like her shoulders in particular because she doesn't she doesn't do the play bow like a cat would do it you know mm -hmm. with like a big deep yoga like the down dog yeah she doesn't she can't really do that she kind of goes uh, and then she the kind of goes into hurt. the back yeah yeah I think all her I think she has arthritis in her shoulders and Okay. I just think that that would really benefit her if, if her friend. All right, so we'll check her head to toe, uh, head to tail, <laughs> and uh, let's see if we can get her out. Persuasive way. Come here, baby. All right, that's good. And then, you're okay. You're okay. All right, and you're going to just always keep your hands on her so that yeah. you can keep, keep um, her on the table if we can. She, um, she won't be able to jump down. Like, okay. that would be like a very big jump for her. Hi, Mia. Can I work with you today? Is this Dr. Doug? Is it okay to work with Mia? Yes. We want you All right. to work with Mia. I like okay. to ask. Mm -hmm. That's right. Good girl. I take my time, you know. That's okay. Especially with cats, you, you can't just like, mm -hmm. like just overwhelm them. That's not the, the greatest approach. So. Yeah. Um, I know it sounds comical if I ask what kind of work, but I think I'm really just taking a minute, almost telling myself that I'm walking into their space and I should be really respectful because they're not used to me and maybe me touching a tender spot like that front left shoulder. So, um, you know, and I do respect the animal space. So little by little we'll start. And I work especially soft with cats because you don't have to work strong with the cat mm -hmm. to get results. And I think that's really good to know So, the... Here's the atlas. Good girl. Right atlas is a little tight, so I'm going to pull down. There you go. There it is. So just flick that. How is that? Hi there, baby girl. Yes. This is a really good sign. Like, yeah. she would not usually lay down if she wasn't starting to get comfortable. Okay, so. So cats have seven bones on their neck. Pretty much every mammal has seven bones on their neck except the manatee and the sloth. Then in the thoracic areas, they have 13. That would be from here to here. And then they have seven lumbars. We have seven, 12, and five. Dogs have the same, seven, 13, and seven. Horses have seven, 18, and six. So it depends what species you're working on. And we just did the atlas. The atlas feels good now. And now I'm coming down the neck and I'm looking for anything else I might find. And the neck is really important to check with all shoulder dysfunction because the neck and the shoulders are so connected. And I'll come work on the shoulders directly, but first I'm checking the axillary spine, which is straight down the middle. So we have the axillary spine and the ap appendicular spine, you know, appendicular part of the skeleton, which is the appendages. But right now I'm gonna stay down the middle. So here's the shoulder blades. So with quadrupeds, the shoulder blades you'll find more on the side. So here's your shoulder blades mm -hmm. right up here. Mm -hmm. And on humans, they're flat on the back. And now I'm between the shoulder blades. So right now I'm at T3, T4, and I'm palpating, and you can feel, if you put your fingertip between my fingers, you'll feel that's the spinous. Right. And the spinous are the bumpy little bones. And so I use that as a landmark when I'm coming down. And 
and I'm also playing with the spring of the joint. So you feel specifically with whatever specific animal you're working with, but you start to get a sense of like, these are how the bones are moving, these are how the bones are moving, and then you hit a rough spot where it feels fixated, stuck, or cemented shut. And you go, that doesn't, and I'm not comparing Mia to another cat, I'm just saying, compared to the two segments above and the two segments below, we just hit a spot that feels like a bar of steel. Mm. And the others had nice flexibility, so I'm on a bar of steel right now. Okay. There we go, I just cracked it. Oh, good. And so, and I'm coming down now. So and she's letting me work. I mean, I know she's starting to squiggle away now, but she's, she's not. She's getting comfortable. Yeah. <laughs> it's okay, lady. Can you stay right now there? Now I'm at the bottom of the thoracics already, so I'm at T13. And T13 to L1 is a transition area between the thoracolumbar section. So you're from the thoracics to the lumbar, T13 to L1. And for quadrupeds, that's an area of high stress. So that's where they get a lot of IBDD, intervertebral disc disease or arthritis, degenerative joint issues. And she's old enough now to start to have some wear and tear in that area. And it's good to check. There it goes. Now I'm at the lower lumbars here. Now if you feel these two bumps here, mm -hmm. here roll your thumbs over it. <laughs> so here's, these are the yeah. pelvic bones. Right. And Latin is called tuber sacralis. So that allows me to know I'm at the ilium now. And in between is this little tiny sacrum. And that's an area of stress yeah. for both humans and animals. There we go, and I just adjusted this sacral base. Oh, we're getting the tail bump. And now we're down at the tail, and oh, there we go. Oop. Did she <laughs> like that one? No, she tried. So the tail is out, and I just adjusted the first coccygeal segment with the tail. I should have warned you, so sorry. All right, so I got the whole spine now, Careful. all the way down. Oh, all right, let's let her Let's let her chill out, and we have to go to the left shoulder. So guess what? The most tender spot is the tail apex of the sacrum where it meets the first coccygeal segment and um, it cracked though it's not going to make a big loud crack like a human neck but it made like a little Jeez. to get the left shoulder we should not mess around we'll go right to the left shoulder meaning i'm not going to play with the right leg we're going to go to okay. the left shoulder yeah i think she, her timer is going off the timer is going off so you're going to have to control her head for me so okay. i can get on the left shoulder okay i would just block her head and i'm going to pick up can the left arm Mm -hmm. And I'm going to just pick up this arm and stretch it. Did you hear a crack? I oh, did. Yeah, yeah. That's it. So the left shoulder was out. Was that the one did that you hear it, Michael? I did. Yeah. yeah. It was loud. And the left shoulder was out. Oh, okay. So we, got me good. we were actually done. So, <laughs> so we can let her go back okay. to her box. Babe, where's your curator? Right so guess what? The left shoulder was really out. All right. okay. So we call that an anterior humerus. Yeah. So the left shoulder was forward. And that's what I thought it was because when she said when she she's reluctant to stretch like this, so that's usually a left anterior humerus. I, I had a hunch it was. So we got her back in the box. Yeah, she's she's. I found a few spots. So I found uh, the the right atlas. I found um, a spot at T three, which is right about here. Right. I found one at the thoracolumbar junction, which is at T thirteen L one. I found L seven. I found sacral base. I did a big one at the tail, which she didn't like, no, she didn't and that's that when one. her mood changed. Yeah. So we went from her being relaxed to her being like, I don't know if I want this anymore. We moved forward to the left shoulder and we got a big one. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so I hope this was okay yeah. for you I'm, guys. I'm really, well, okay. yeah, we're, we're good. All well, right. How about she gets you there? No. Okay. So, so please leave me a comment. She's really a sweet cat, and thank you so much. Sacred base. We're getting the tail bump. And now we're down at the tail. and. Mm -hmm. There we go. Oop. Did she <laughs> like that one? No, she tried. So